this lesson, we're going to create a tote bag mock-up. We'll be using the tote bag link, or you can search with the word tote bag. Go to the actions menu, add, insert a file, and insert that photo. I'm going to expand this so it fits my screen. Just wanted to shift this up so my mugs show. I really love this photo for the tote bag. We'll be able to have the texture in this bag show because it's light and solid. You also have the option to put a design on your mugs as well as add a photo frame with art to the background wall. You could really layer this up if you want to. I'm going to add a layer and grab a color. I'm grabbing my monoline brush and the calligraphy brushes. We'll outline this tote bag getting as close to the edge as possible, evening out the edges and filling it with color. I'm going to fast forward this video while I finish up this process. I want to add a layer and change it to clipping mask. I'm going to rename this layer artwork. We can change the bottom layer here to any of these blend modes because it is a light color as well as a solid color. With color burn, it does really show the highlights and shadows. With this, you can tell the sunlight is in the upper left shining in on the toe. And the shadows are more predominant on the right hand side in this photo. Adding artwork. Go to actions, add, insert a file, and add your artwork to the artwork clipping mask layer. Since I don't have a background color to my artwork, it's kind of important to make sure that the layer below the clipping mask is the color that I want to use and have it show through. If we don't want the color to show through, we can alpha lock this layer, change the color to white, tap and fill the layer. This way we have a neutral white background for our artwork. You can see here, I need to clean this side up. I'll just grab the eraser and erase some of this background so my surface design pattern doesn't flow over the edge of this tote bag. And I might go back and just see what multiply looks like. If you do want a background color and you want to offer it as an alternative to your artwork design, just go back and fill the layer with a background color that really makes your artwork pop. This is a photo that I truly love. Not only the coloring, but also the different options that you can take advantage of by adding your artwork to. Something to keep in mind, you can add a photo frame to this mock-up, add clipping mask to your mugs and add artwork to that as well. And you can also add additional images to fill up your mock-up like this example. If you're interested in knowing more about how to create more mock-ups in Procreate, check out my Skillshare class. The link is noted below in the description. I really hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.